or like endless war between our past self and our future self. This is the upgrade, the up-leveling of your mother effing life. Your whole life could just change in the blink of an eye. It is that fucking crazy. We have made it to the Taurus lunar eclipse happening on November 8th. You do not want to miss this and you do not want to miss the beginning of this video. So sit down, have a drink, have a seat have some food and kick your feet up darling because we are in this bitch okay we are in this bitch and we are not fucking around <laughs> All right, my astro and spiritual badasses out there, this is for you. Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle. I do a bunch of spiritual shit over here. So if you like spiritual shit, then make sure to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this. Comment down below. And today, darling, we are talking about the Taurus lunar eclipse, this big event happening on November 8th and what the fuck you need to know about it and why it is a big deal. It is a big deal. Deal. It is a really big fucking deal, okay? This Taurus lunar eclipse is where we up level, okay? It is a upgrade. It is time to upgrade. It is time to up level. It is time to step into higher mother effing standards for ourselves, okay, boo? Like, you deserve it. You effing deserve it. We don't have time. We don't have time for the old chaotic shit anymore, okay? We just fucking don't. It is time for us to step into what we really desire, what we're really made of. If you didn't see the Scorpio solar eclipse video from two weeks ago, which started this whole cycle that we are in, you definitely wanna watch that, honey, okay? Because you're missing out on a lot, but I'm gonna talk about some of it in this video, so don't worry. So basically, a lunar eclipse is basically a full moon that is <laughs> amplified big time. This is not just a typical full moon. This is like a big ass mother effing deal full moon, okay? So basically what that means is it's very karmic, it's very faded, it's bringing a lot of different things to light and it's showing us a new path, a new direction, a new path that we need to go in because right now in 2022, what this year has been about is decreasing the chaos, the complicatedness, the messiness within our lives, decreasing the darkness, the shit that we've been attached to from the past, the pain, the grief, the shame, the, the remorse, the guilt. We are decreasing that shit because why? We don't need it anymore, okay? How I've been describing it is we're trying to carry an old trash bag full of shit around with us that is all gross and moldy and we just don't fucking need it but we're so attached to it because of the pain because it's become who we are because it's part of our identity now because of what the fuck ever and we need to drop it okay just throw it out the window going down the highway just throw that shit just throw it because we don't fucking need it anymore we are moving to greener grasses <laughs> Okay, that is what this Taurus lunar eclipse is all about. It is showing us that the grass is greener on the other side in really shocking, innovating, random, surprising ways, actually, okay? Because Uranus is mixed in with this lunar eclipse, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll get to that in a sec. This lunar eclipse in Taurus is showing us where we need to increase simplicity, comfort, natural, naturality, natural, nature, fuck. What word am I looking for here? Basically, where we need to increase more of a natural flow into our lives, where we need to increase more creation, more of the good stuff, right? And where we are decreasing and literally letting go of old stuff, right? That is so much what of what this time is about right now. We are letting go of so much, right? Because right now we have a ton of shit crossing the south node. So there's a lot of karmic stuff in the air. There's a lot of karmic patterns. There's a lot of things coming up from our past that we are letting letting go of. We are dumping, we are purging, we are done, okay? We are done. So it is time to let go of those old, toxic, complicated, messy fucking things, right? We just don't need it, whether it's behaviors, relationships, situations, the toxic traits that we have that, you know, just keep running us into the ground and are like a vicious fucking circle. We need to let go of this shit so we can move to stay more stable, more secure, more comfortable, more beautiful, more simple, 
times, okay? That is what this lunar eclipse is about. That is what 2022 has been about. And that is what a lot of 2023 will be about too, as we are letting go of the bullshit and we are getting to something more simple, more stable, and more secure within our lives. That is the point of all of this. This is where we are being directed as a collective and individually in the world right now in very spiritual and karmic and faded ways. This is the destined path for us. But first, what's had to happen is all of that old shit, that tornado from the past, those tornadoes in our lives, those toxic, yucky, complicated, messy, <laughs> the, the messy bullshit has had to come up so we can face it, right? So we can find our power through it and know that we don't have to keep repeating that same stuff, right? So we are ending so many karmic cycles right now, right? If, you're, if your life has been crazy lately, then this is why, okay? We are in eclipse season. Eclipse season is a really big fucking deal. A lot of big things happen. A lot of really big life changes can be happening for a lot of people around this time, but it's okay. It's normal. And we are letting go of all this complicated, messy bullshit that we don't need in our lives anymore, okay? And we are moving towards something more beautiful, more simple, more creative that is going to liberate us in so many ways. We are being liberated. We are looking for liberation and freedom from the old, from the messy shit. Basically, what the fuck is happening here is that we are upgrading. We are up leveling. Like I said, it is time to step into this new reality and leave behind the past bullshit that is just like in our way. It's like a chaotic web of shit, right? And it's too complicated. It's too messy. It's just too chaotic, right? We need to leave that shit behind and go to where the grass is greener, okay? We're trying to simplify our lives. And so this Taurus lunar eclipse is showing us what we need to let go of in order to simplify our lives. It is showing us a path. And this path may be shocking, random, surprising. This lunar eclipse can bring a lot of massive, like split second revelations, split second massive changes where we were going in one direction and now we're going in a complete another. It can bring up a lot of really, really shocking and random things that we didn't see coming, but these are the upgrades that we need. These are the changes that need to be make, made for us to see this new path that we need to go down that's going to be more stable, secure, that's going to be more comforting to us and not be so chaotic and messy. We are seeing and realizing what needs to decrease, what needs to go in order for us to get to a life that we desire more, in order for us to get to a more stable and secure place in our lives. Another huge thing that I think is really happening this year in 2022 and that really goes with a lot of this, and I was going to do a whole separate video on this because it's so much to talk about. Basically, we're like in this war between our past self and our future self, or you could even say the not so great version of us versus the best possible version of us, right? We are really seeing the, the parts of us, the versions of us that we need to shed, that we need to purge, that are in our way, that are literally holding us back, that are self-sabotaging, that are self-defeating, self-destructive, whatever you want to call it, versus the parts of us or the versions of us that are really stepping into their potential, that are ready to rock shit, that are capable of so much more that know that the version of us that knows its potential this is where we are really really seeing this like this kind of inner conflict happening within so many of us we are trying to find freedom and liberation and simplicity and the good life that we want to live and our desires and pleasure but this scorpio energy is showing us where we have to let go of our darkness to get to that up leveling, right? Because if you're not already at that level, there's a reason you're not at that level. You have to face the monster at the end of that level to get to the next level, right? You can't just get to level two without facing the big bad monster at the end of level one that's keeping you at level one, right? That's chaining you to level one. And so we have to face that monster in order to upgrade to level two, right? And then from that experience, we take it with us our consciousness expands and we step into that next level, right? We step into that next level and quantum fucking shifts happen. And that leads me to my next topic. This full moon, lunar eclipse in Taurus can bring up quantum fucking shifts, okay? quantum fucking leaps like never before. We can really start feeling this energy building, this momentum building of split second shifts just out of nowhere that we weren't expecting that are super surprising where we upgrade massively, where we up level massively into a new version of ourselves, right? But to do that, we have to face these old things that are holding us back and we also have to tighten our standards. And before we go any farther, hang with me just a second 
second here. And now for a quick announcement. Stay tuned and bear with. Do not skip ahead because you do not want to miss the deep shit we are about to get into right after this. If you want to learn astrology, if you want to learn your birth chart, if you want to be able to do readings like I do, if you want to be able to understand this shit and you're just not understanding it, you're just not pulling together or you don't even know where to start in the first place, you need to sign up for my astrological divination course starting November 9th, the day after this eclipse, okay? This eclipse is happening in my 10th house of career, so hello. So yeah, I will teach you because I'm a badass teacher of astrology. I teach relatable and easy astrology so you will understand it and it still has a lot of depth. If you want to learn astrology, if you want to learn your chart, if you want to learn so much about yourself, your life, why you're here and other people, it is only $40 a month or you can pay in full up front. You can also cancel at any time if you sign up for the $40 a month. It is on my Patreon linked down below for the $40 membership. You also receive a one question chart reading every freaking month because my Patreon $40 members already receive that every month and you receive all of my exclusive stuff that I do only on Patreon. There's going to be a lot of 2023 stuff coming, a lot of 2023 individual personal short readings I'm going to be doing next month. So you get a lot of exclusive stuff for signing up. But even if you don't want to learn astrology, if you want exclusive content from me, sign up for my Patreon that supports what I do here. So if you want to support me or you want to get exclusive of shit from me then see my patreon down below and i also still do readings boo 2023 readings year ahead readings natal chart readings all of it so okay back to this lunar eclipse so this lunar eclipse in taurus is squaring saturn in aquarius okay so this is bringing with it this kind of reality facing energy. We have to possibly face our fears of rejection or our fears of what other people may think, or we may need to, to own up to something. We may need to uh, face a, an issue in our lives, a wall or a uh, boundary within our lives that is not really helping us anymore. Or we, need to, we may need to upgrade our boundaries in some way. We may need to face old consequences in some way in order to step in into the the us that we really want to be. I really feel this Saturn square is about taking accountability, taking responsibility for where we're at in our lives and the direction that we're going in. And if you don't do that, this could feel difficult. This could feel like you're hitting up against a wall constantly or like you're being delayed or you're being set back or you know like you're having to face something pretty difficult. But I truly truly believe that if you are willing to take responsibility, to take accountability, to have clear standards, clear boundaries, then you will be able to face this and move through this. You will be able to upgrade even with this Saturn square. So that is really what I think this Saturn square is all about. We are facing the areas in our lives where we have not been accountable, not been responsible, or where we need to take accountability. There may be things exposed to us too that are rather difficult that kind of push us into this energy of needing to step it up, of needing to step into a clearer path, of needing to up our standards and our boundaries. Also, because Venus is the ruler of this eclipse and Venus is going to to be in Scorpio and the opposite sign of this eclipse, we may also see a lot of people dealing with commitment issues, relationship issues, boundary issues, like I said. What we need to do in order to face the difficulty within our relationships, with money, with our connections, I feel like money is a big theme right now. Finances are a big theme right now for a lot of people. I also feel like this lunar eclipse, because it's happening right around the same time as the Mercury Sun Kazemi is going to be very, very eye-opening for a lot of people. Many people are going to have deep truths that come to the surface, a lot of clarity it's going to expose a lot of truth, possibly a lot of secrets. It's also happening on election day, which is literally a really big deal. This election is going to be crazy, random, like unexpected or out of the norm and, you know, possibly secrets being exposed, all kinds of stuff, maybe even delayed with the Saturn square or whatever. Like it's going to run into some kind of difficulty. So I really think that this eclipse overall is showing us, it's showing us what we desire and it's showing us, it's asking us to have more faith and what we desire. It's showing us a clear path, but it's also getting us to be accountable and to step into some kind of responsibility and to also face some of the hardships in our lives, to upgrade our boundaries, to upgrade our standards, possibly break some commitments or make some big commitments within our lives while also exposing really deep truths, secrets, and things like that. But either way, I feel like this eclipse is going to be life-changing for many people. And I feel like it's a push towards 
what we need to embrace more of within our lives in order to find balance again. The simplicity, the security, the creation, the beauty, the pleasure that we need to embrace more of within our lives to find the balance. And with that being said, we are going to go ahead and move on to the zodiac signs. Your rising sign is going to resonate most, so do keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and get into this. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your personal horoscope. If you are a Taurus rising for this lunar eclipse happening in your sign. So Taurus, this is a big mother effing deal for you. Okay. Let me just say you are the star of the show here. So this is, I think, really bringing you back into balance with yourself. It's an upgrade of yourself. Okay. It's an upgrade of yourself. It can bring in a lot of random clarity, a a lot of kind of curveball energy into the mix regarding your identity. Who are you? Have you lost yourself uh, trying to maybe appease others or, you know, within your relationships, within your connections? Is there a lot of toxicity or a lot of chaos or a lot of complications or messiness with your relationships at the moment or with your connections with other people, right? And then also on top of that, have you been facing a lot of difficulty in terms of your worldly pursuits, your career, your public image, your brand? you know, how you present yourself to the world and how you view the world, you know, have you been feeling held back by authority figures and things like this. And so this lunar eclipse is really coming in to have you um, let go of old toxic traits, especially within relationships or old toxic situations or toxic relationships, you know, past karmic stuff within relationships while also embracing a whole new you and bringing more of yourself and uh, your own authenticity back into the mix, like bringing more simplicity and, and, um, more creation and more of the things that you love and that make up you as a person, the way that you see yourself, etc. So these are the things that are really coming in here for you. You're really, really seeing, you know, how you can um, embrace more of who you are and you're seeing yourself in new ways for this lunar eclipse while also, you know, seeing where things may need to change in order for you to you know, feel like you're on the right path, feel like you're completing your purpose to feel comfortable within your career and like you're going in the right direction, etc. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. Let me know down below if that ends up resonating. I would really love to hear your feedback. If you didn't watch the first part of this video, I would definitely go do that because you're missing out on a lot. And also at the same time, I am running my astrological divination course. It starts next week. It's super affordable. You pay $40 a month. You can cancel at any time. It should last anywhere between four to six months or you can pay up front if you would rather do that instead. Everything you need to know is down in the description below. If you want to learn your chart, if you want to learn astrology, like no bullshit in a very relatable way, like I am a badass teacher and I give a lot of depth, but I make it very simple. So uh, if you would like to do that, see my description below. And and we are going to move on to Gemini. So for Gemini, this lunar eclipse is happening in your 12th house. So this can be a suspicious time where you are uh, doing a little bit more behind the scenes or where you feel the need to pull back in some area. And it could be very random or unexpected. There could be some random unexpected events that occur that are a little bit more behind the scenes or pull you out of situations or seclude you or isolate you in some way. Uh, you could be spending a lot of time kind of to yourself or feeling more introverted, you know, uh, there could be a situation that pulls you aside, you know, like an emergency that kind of pulls you aside. That may not be the case for everybody. So I don't want to freak you out. But um, the 12th house can sometimes rule hospitals, endings and things like that. So this is a massive purge. This is a massive ending. It's bringing to light that you need to embrace more simplicity in your behind the scenes life um, with your health, with your mental health, with your habits, with your subconscious patterns. Like you need to, to get more secure and stable because if not, then your day-to-day -day life, your routines, your job, your work is just gonna keep feeling messy and complicated and power struggles and toxicity. And so, and a lot of that could be going on, you know, the last few weeks as well. Now, on top of that, this is really, this lunar eclipse is really putting a spotlight and a challenge on your belief systems, your morals, your ethics, you know, your values in terms of your worldviews, politics, and things like that. And so this could shake up something here as well, uh, or in some way, 
um, be in conflict with some of these things that you're letting go of or some of these other things that you're dealing with. So um, that could come up as well. You could also see themes of travel, education, and uh, debates and you know things like that. So just kind of watch for those topics. Let me know down below if this resonates. And also, if you didn't watch the first part of this video, I would definitely go do that because you're missing out on a lot. And also, I am running my astrological divination course. It starts next week. It's super affordable. You pay $40 a month. You can cancel at any time. It should last anywhere between four to six months. Or you can pay up front if you would rather do that instead. But um, everything you need to know is down in the description below. If you want to learn your chart, if you want to learn astrology, like no bullshit, in a very relatable way. Like I am a badass teacher and I give a lot of depth, but I make it very simple. So uh, if you would like to do that, see my description below. Moving Moving on to Cancer, darling. So Cancer, this uh, lunar eclipse is happening in your 11th house of your acquaintances, uh, you know, collaborations, friend groups, your social life, people, different groups of people, you know, things like that, where you could definitely be seeing those themes come up, where there are different maybe projects that you're working on that involve a lot of uh, uh, a lot of different people or groups of people, maybe marketing, you know, maybe affiliations with people, maybe acquaintances, you know, different things like that. And some of these things could be financial, you know, like I have uh, other aspects in my own chart. I'm not a Cancer rising, I'm Leo rising, but I have other aspects in my own chart with 8th, 11th house transits right now. And and I really didn't understand how that would really be playing out for me. And now all of a sudden I have a friend going through a really crazy crisis who started to go fund me. And so, and I'm like helping her. And so it that's like a perfect example. You know, you are rallying people up or you're somehow involved in like this group thing or this thing with other people or acquaintances or online or whatever. And somehow it's financial, but it could be challenging financially though for you, Cancer, because this lunar eclipse is squaring Saturn in your eighth house. And so this could be like, you know, really enforcing boundaries, or it could be hitting on certain debt that you have, or making a challenge to certain debt that you have. Some of these things that you're trying to move towards could some way, you could some way feel delayed or pulled back or held back, or like you're hitting against a wall financially in some way and not able to really move forward in the way that you want all the way because of those things. But this is asking you to step into your power, to take accountability, to take responsibility, and to face some of these things so you can get to where you want to go even if they are difficult okay even if the mountain is high it does not mean that you can't get to the top of it okay so that's what i'm seeing here with you cancer you're also releasing releasing and letting go of a lot in your dating life your dating world your romance life your passion life the things that you like to do for fun that could be toxic messy or complicated okay so you're letting go of a lot of that here but uh yeah that's what i see for you cancer if you didn't watch the beginning of this video you're missing out on a lot so definitely go watch that you will relate to it for sure and also if you didn't see my astrological divination course is starting so if you want to learn astrology easily and if you want to be able to relate to it on a whole new level to be able to know your own chart your own life your own self and other people's and be able to read astrology uh, this is the course for you. It will take anywhere from four to six months. It's super affordable. It's $40 on my Patreon and you can cancel at any time or you can pay the whole thing up front. All the information is down below. We start on the 9th, so don't miss out. Moving on to Leo Darlings, my fellow Leo Risings. If you didn't watch the beginning part of this video, I would definitely go do that, as I always say, because everything I say is coming from my perspective as a Leo Rising, and so you will likely relate to. So anyway, <laughs> this lunar eclipse for us is happening in our 10th house, baby. So definitely watch the, the first part of this video. But um, this is happening in terms of our career, our public image, our brand, the the, what we put out into the world, our path in this life. We have been really getting so many lessons this year in terms of this, in terms of where we want to go in the world, in terms of what we want to do in the world, in terms of our path, in terms of our career, in terms of our public image, our reputation, and how we really want to up level and upgrade in terms of those things, okay? But the issue is, is that we are letting go of a lot in terms of home and family. It's like, in order for us to have this beautiful, amazing life, 
our foundation needs to be solid and our foundation has been kind of messy and complicated and maybe toxic. Maybe there's things from our past that we've been really working through or things with family that have been really dramatic and tense and complicated and chaotic that we've needed to work through that are haunting us, the things that are haunting us on the inside. We've needed to work through those to secure our foundation because what I've really realized is that yeah, we can, we have the potential, we have the capability to live this beautiful life, right? But if we don't feel safe and secure on the inside, then none of that really matters, right? You can't really, you're not going to be worried about building this beautiful life when you don't even feel safe in the first place. And so safety and security has been a really big thing I've seen coming up for Leo Risings with all this Scorpio fourth house energy. Now, on top of that, this lunar eclipse is squaring Saturn in our seventh in our relationship sector. So this could be kind of a rough time for relationships, significant others significant relationships our connection you know our connections with other people this could bring up some challenges some commitment issues some boundary issues some distance some delays some setbacks you know facing maybe some hardship or difficulty in terms of a relationship or in terms of connections within our lives with this lunar eclipse this could also even be, you know, really seeing how certain relationships are maybe holding us back in terms of where we want to go in the world or what we want to do or what we want to strive for, what we want to achieve. And, you know, we have so much going on in terms of our our public life and our personal life that maybe relationships are, are taking kind of a back burner right now, right? Like we're not as concerned with relationships with, you know, our social life and things like that. And so those are some of the things that we could see coming up as Leo Risings. But all as always, let me know down below what you see coming up if any of this resonates. And if you missed the beginning, go back and watch that, like I said. And also, I have my astrological divination course starting on November 9th for a super affordable price. If you for real, want to learn astrology, want to relate to astrology, want to be able to read your chart, your life, yourself, and others. If you really know bullshit, want to learn astrology, it's not all making sense, or you don't know where to start, or you don't know how to pull it all together, this is for you, okay? It's $40 a month on my Patreon. You can cancel at any time, and you also get all the other exclusive shit on my Patreon. But this course literally changed people's lives last year when I first ran it, and so I'm running it again. I'm doing it completely new. I am redoing it and doing it live the sessions will be recorded you can find all the information below and uh yeah i'd love to see you so and if you also even if you don't want to learn astrology but you want to get extra exclusive shit from me sign up for my patreon like what are you doing just do it okay virgo rising so virgo this lunar eclipse is happening in your ninth house of higher learning education travel your belief systems your morals your ethics etc politics you know your worldviews, etc. So these are the things that you could definitely see coming up or highlighted for this lunar eclipse. You could get a lot of random insights, a lot of random upgrades in your belief systems. Uh, you could be trying to go towards more of a simple life, you know, a simple, more simple minded philosophy instead of something so chaotic and deep and intense and dark and you know, whatever, like you could really be upgrading your perspective here, like your, your, your higher perspective and getting out of your day to day toxic shit, you know, like that feels chaotic or that feels messy, you know? And so, but on top of that, this lunar eclipse is going to be squaring Saturn in your sixth. And so this could be somehow challenging in terms of your work life or your day-to-day -day routines or your health in some way where maybe you have all these responsibilities or you have all these duties and so you know maybe you want to go travel and, and you know live off grid or like live a simpler life in some way uh, but you have all this stuff with work and your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day routines that you have to kind of face first and so this lunar eclipse is really highlighting this you know, need for commitment, or it's saying, you know, hey, if you want to do these things, you have to commit, you have to step into your 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 power and your day to day lives and your routines, you have to start changing your health patterns, or you have to start changing your diet, or whatever the case may be to get to where you want to go, or to live this simpler life. And yes, that's going to be difficult or whatever, but you can do it, you know, so these are some of the things that you could see coming up, or at least the themes that you could see coming up, let me know down below, if any of that resonates. And also, if you didn't see the beginning of this video make sure to go watch this because you are go watch that because you will resonate and then also my astrological divination course is starting next week on the 9th so if you want to learn your chart if you want to learn astrology in a relatable and simple freaking way 
I got you, okay? I freaking got you. It's only $40 per month and you can cancel at any time and it will last four to six months, okay? So if you are interested, see the description below. Um, I would love to have you. We have people signing up. It's so amazing. I'm so excited to be redoing this. Last year, it literally changed people's whole entire lives. So I'm just so excited to be doing this again. So if you're interested, see the description below. So Libra, darling, this lunar eclipse is happening in your eighth house if you're a Libra rising. So this is a time of really seeing a simpler path and a simpler path or more pleasurable or a natural path being highlighted in terms of your finances, in terms of debt, in terms of other people's money, business, investments, etc. So this is definitely a time where those things are really coming up where you're seeing a path forward in those areas. But you're also releasing a lot of toxic, messy, or complicated priorities and values from your life right now. On top of that, this lunar eclipse is squaring Saturn in your fifth house. So this could be bringing up some difficulty or some commitment issues or some boundary issues or something that needs to be faced that's kind of difficult in terms of your romance life, your sexuality, your dating life, maybe with children or things that you like to do for fun or things that you're passionate about. So this could definitely be something that you are uh, seeing come up at this time. You know, maybe you wanna make this investment, but you have these responsibilities in terms of children or whatever that's holding you back, you know, or maybe you need to pay off this debt, but you also have this, you know, commitment over here. So, you know, these are some of the, the ways that you could see this playing out. So let me know below if any of that resonates or what you are seeing that's happening in your life right now. And if you didn't watch the beginning of this, you definitely want to make sure you do because you will relate to it a lot. And also my astrological divination course is starting Wednesday on the 9th, where you will learn your birth chart, astrology, how to read astrology, how to read for others, your life, your destiny, your purpose, all of that. Okay. In a nutshell, in a simple and relatable fucking way, I got you. Okay. I'm a good ass astrology teacher it is all down below. It's for an affordable monthly price. It's on my Patreon for the $40 membership. You can cancel at any time. So, and you get all the other exclusive stuff on my Patreon. Okay. So if you're interested in that, you can try it out down below. Moving on to Scorpio, darling. So for Scorpio, this lunar eclipse is happening in your seventh house of relationships. Okay. Other people. So this is really highlighting that area where you could bring up some random surprising or curveball kind of changes in terms of your relationships, in terms of your significant relationships, your significant other, et cetera. So it's showing you a destined path forward in this way. Whereas, you know, you're also kind of letting go of a lot of messiness and complication on your end to do with what you identify with, to do with yourself, to do with your identity, okay? Now, this could also be hitting some challenges for you with home and family, your personal life, some commitments that you have in terms of home and family or some responsibilities that you have in terms of home and family. And so there seems to be some challenges going on between you, your relationships, and your home and family with this lunar eclipse, Scorpio. It could be bringing up, it's, it's showing you it's, it's jolting you forward towards more of a beautiful and simple path with your relationships, but it's also bringing up some challenges in home and family, I should say, is the more better way to put that, where, you know, there could be some responsibilities, some commitments, some, you know, something you need to take accountability for, um, or there could be just something kind of holding you back or something that you need to face or some kind of difficulty you need to face in terms of home and family. So let me know how this goes. If this ends up resonating, if you missed the beginning, you definitely need to go watch it because you would definitely relate to it as a Scorpio rising. And then also my astrological divination course starts next week. If you want to learn astrology, if you want to learn your birth chart, if you want to learn how to read for others, if you want to learn your life, yourself, your purpose, all of that in a simple and relatable way, I got you. Uh, it is going to be on my Patreon for only $40 a month. You can cancel at any time. It'll take us four to six months to complete it. You will get a weekly, uh, weekly lives, weekly homework, etc. Everything will be recorded. And if you finish the course, you get lifetime access to everything. So um, yeah, if you're interested, see the description below, or if you have questions, you can also uh, email me, etc. So moving on to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, this lunar eclipse is happening in your sixth house of your day-to-day -day work, routines, health, et cetera, the tasks that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So this lunar eclipse is highlighting those areas, changes that need to be made in those areas, upgrades that need to happen in those areas, and also where you may need to 
uh, face some commitments or some responsibilities or some difficulty that's going on in your day-to-day -day life or in your day-to-day -day environment. So maybe you finally realize that, you know, this, you want this new job where you have this, this new path that you want to go down or this culmination point is happening where you finally want to shift something in your work or in your health, but maybe you're kind of stuck in the location that you're at right now, or maybe you're stuck in the environment that you're at right now or something. You can't get away to do what you need to do, right? So these are some of the ways that this could play out. Or maybe it's putting a focus on you to communicate or to express yourself, but you feel a little bit stifled or held back in some way. So these are some of the ways that it could play out. Let me know down below if that resonates or what you do see happening for you. And if you did not listen to the beginning of this video, go back and watch that because you will resonate with it, okay? And then also my Astrological Divination course starts next week. It is a live course that I am doing for the second time and it is bomb. You will learn so much about yourself, your chart, your life, your purpose, other people you will learn astrology in a simple and relatable way okay and it will still be deep even if it's simple so you don't want to miss out if you are ready to fully learn astrology to read etc to know your chart then this is for you it's only $40 a month and you can cancel at any time and it's on my patreon where you will get a lot of other exclusive stuff just for being there so if you're interested see the description below moving on to capricorn so capricorn this lunar eclipse is happening in your fifth house of children romance dating your passions what sets your heart on fire so this can be a massive upgrade or a shift or a curveball that comes in where you're just like oh this is what i want this would make my life more simple this would feel better this would this would be what i want right this is what i want to create this is what i want to do this is what i want this is what i'm passionate about right this culmination point of something that feels good that you're creating that you're passionate about or something to do with your children or your dating life etc so it's bringing a lot of twists and upgrades and epiphanies here where you really want to liberate yourself or break free in these areas but you're also letting go of a lot of old shit in terms of groups of people acquaintances you know where you fit in in the world and things like that and this is also this lunar eclipse is also challenging making a challenging aspect to saturn in your second so you know possibly your income, your priorities, things like that. You know, maybe you have certain responsibilities or commitments that you feel are holding you back from this creative project, or maybe you uh, don't, you know, you don't have it right now to invest in this creative project or something like that, right? So, but you have to face these difficulties and you have to take responsibility and accountability and step up even if it's difficult, okay? So that is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Let me know down below if any of that resonates and what you do notice coming up for this. And if you missed the beginning of this video, go back and watch it because you will relate to it. And also, if you uh, didn't hear, my astrological divination course is starting next week. So if you want to learn astrology in an easy, simple, and relatable way, but still very in-depth, then I got you. My astrological divination course starts next week. I'm offering it on my Patreon for the top membership of only $40 a month, and you can cancel at any time, and you get all of the other exclusive stuff I do on Patreon. So it's a hell of a deal. You don't want to miss out. All the information is down below. So join us if you would like to learn astrology and your natal chart and how much of a badass you are and your purpose and your destiny and all of it. Moving on to Aquarius. So this lunar eclipse Aquarius is happening in your fourth house of home and family, your personal life, your past, your parents, what's going on behind the scenes, your foundation, okay? So you've been really trying to simplify things in terms of your personal life, in terms of your home life, in terms of your family. You've been really trying to, you know, find more beauty, more pleasure, more, um, you know, to feel safer, to feel more secure. But that's involved letting go of the chaos, the complications, the messiness, the bullshit, the toxicity in your career or the power dynamics in your career or in your life in general, in your external world, you know? And so this is putting a lot of pressure on you though because this lunar eclipse is squaring Saturn, your ruling planet in your sign. And so this may be a time where you're really kind of, you know, dealing with some identity issues on where, you know, where you feel pulled in terms of your life, where you want to go in terms of your life and what you want to do in terms of securing your foundation or securing your personal life or, you know, um, dealing with things from the past, etc. So this energy is really calling you to upgrade in your personal life, in your home life, 
um, and take responsibility in new ways, you know, and uh, set your set your standards higher to set your boundaries higher and things like that. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. Let me know down below if this resonates. And if you didn't see the first part of this video, you definitely don't want to miss it. Go back and watch it because you will likely relate to it. And also on top of that, my astrological divination course is starting on November 9th. If you want to learn your chart, if you want to learn astrology in a very simple, relatable and easy way, if you want to learn other people's charts, if you want to learn your path, your destiny, so much about yourself, this is it. I got you. Okay. So I'm offering it for a super affordable price on my Patreon. Everything is linked down below. It's $40 a month, but you can cancel it anytime. And you also get exclusive access to everything on my Patreon for being there. So Definitely don't want to miss it. If you're interested, check the link below. Moving on to Pisces. So for Pisces, this lunar eclipse is happening in your third house. So this is how you express yourself. This is your daily environment, your day-to-day -day errands that you run, and the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, your mindset on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is really about upgrading those things. And um, it could bring in uh, some curveballs. It could bring in some surprises in terms of your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day environments, etc. that you are in. You've been really, you know, I think that this this energy has been really calling you to find more security and simplicity in your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day environments and with the people and places that you hang around and let go of all of the complicated, messy BS that's going on in the world or going on outside of your own reality. Like, I feel like this is really about embracing simplicity in your reality and, and creating the, a reality that's more simple and feels more comfortable to you in your day-to-day -day life. Um, this could also bring up, you know, siblings, cousins, relatives, and things like that. But um, I really feel like this is a time where you are letting go, possibly, of old, old ways of doing things or old patterns that are holding you back and uh, taking, like, stepping into to some kind of new upgrade in terms of how you perceive things, your, your current day-to-day -day reality, and what you want that to look like and how you want to create that, okay? And letting go of some behind-the-scenes stuff that may be holding you back or some old habits that, you know, are holding you back in some way. So that is what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces. Let me know down below if that resonates. And if you didn't watch the beginning of this video, you're really missing out. So I definitely would go do that. And also my astrological divination course starts next week. So if you want to learn astrology, if you want to learn your birth chart, if you want to learn how to read others charts in a very simple and relatable way, I got you. My astrology course is going to be on Patreon for the top membership. It's only $40 a month and you can cancel at any time and you get exclusive access to everything else on Patreon. If you would like more information, see the description below. We are going to move on to Aries. Last but not least, Aries, this lunar eclipse is happening in your second house of income, money, finances, and your priorities, your values, what's important to you, you know? And so this is a massive upgrade, upgrading your standards of what's important to you, what you value, you know, what actually is going to create um, more for you. What are your priorities? You know, um, getting into more simplicity, more value in those areas, more worth in those areas, more quality in those areas. And so this lunar eclipse is really bringing that up. It's really shaking things up here and uh, pushing you toward to, to really upgrade in this area. But the issue is, is that this lunar eclipse is squaring Saturn in your 11th house. So there could be some setbacks, delays, or some responsibility or commitments coming in with groups of people, friend groups, your place in the world, um, other people that you interact with, acquaintances that are somehow maybe uh, intertwined in your finances or something financial that you're doing, a group that you're involved in or something like that. And so this could bring that up where you are kind of feeling um, boxed in or in some way, uh, you know, responsible with this group of people or committed to this group of people, but you're also trying to have your own freedom and liberation in terms of your own finances, your own priorities, and what's important to you. And so those are some of the things I see that could be coming up for you, Aries. Let me know down below if that resonates. If you didn't see the first part of this video, go watch it because you would resonate with it. And also my astrological divination course is starting this week on November 9th. So if you want to learn your chart, if you want to learn how to read astrology, no bullshit in a simple and relatable way and in depth, 
then I got you, okay? My astrological divination course is starting on November 9th on my Patreon for only $40 a month and you can cancel at any time and you get exclusive access to everything I have on Patreon while you're there. So if you're interested, go sign up. Everything you need to know is in the link below. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.